There's gotta be a story here. I launched the game, and this is what I see. What was I doing the last time I played? I wish my civilization was ruled by Quill 18 in real life. What a strong people we'd be. All these people, these are nobodies down here. I'm willed by Quill. I couldn't put Quill 18 in my game for some reason. That's kind of an oversight. I love Spore. Spore is one of the greatest games ever made. We're already in the cell stage. I didn't get to create my creature yet. Like, you know the the creatures they make that sound in spore when they uh when they get on the land this all sounds like caveman wall of text caveman propaganda well i guess it's kind of working i kind of want to be a caveman but we need to build civilization so we can dream about being cavemen these are the people who killed the neanderthal never forget that our brother was murdered all right let's go find us a mammoth and kill him or we can starve him out we're gonna take his food Delicious. Yum. So next time, Fuck you, mammoth. If you it first. You're gonna die, because I'm eating all your food. You're gonna go extinct. A giant deer, but no mammoth. I'm Neolithic Benjamin Franklin. Me and my tribe, we gather science. We are uh, making discoveries. We're eating grass. That's what we do. Well, I assume these are good stats here. But really, I'm just going for the Egyptians, because they have drip. Caveman Turf War. See how we gotta get out of here. Themselves. Run away, my men. Plea to the Stone Age. The Bronze Age, it lasted a long time. Was it like 2,000 years or something? I don't know. But you know, it must have been a good time because they invented all this and society was like, you know what? This is it. This is peak life. You can't upgrade this. I want to hang out with the Egyptians and build some pyramids and be like, hell yeah. Well, I guess we need a city now. That's a uh, part of civilization. It's part of the deal. The social contract, if you will. My new homeland. Middlesex Coco. We must destroy the mammoth homeland. We have to pillage everything. Destroy all their grass, everything they could eat. It's the only way to save humanity from a mammoth uprising. Ah, a mammoth! Kill him! Actually, I'm gonna take all your grub. We're gonna starve you out. While I build one civilization, I destroy another. Goodbye, mammoth kind. These animals are bigger than my city. I have to kill them. It was worth it in the end. We brought the mammoths to extinction. And now we're LARPing. What does the moon say? He asked the sun and they agreed I could be king. The northern barbarians are coming to me. I was distracted killing the mammoths when I had a more human threat to the north. Ah! Border gore. Aw oh, man, here we go again. I'm evolving. They took everyone. Maybe I'll be a hun. I don't know what happened to me. I got possessed. That was weird. Maybe we should change society somewhat. This is not what I meant. What are y'all doing to me? This is what the first fan meetup of the coffin of Andy and Lele looks like. Tear down all of our buildings. We're going back to the yurt. This is like my Minecraft village. It's just a giant pyramid with a whole bunch of yurts around it. I'm gonna hunt out. And I get a wonder. That's not a good thing. That's actually a bad thing. I just want to erect a giant pyramid and be happy. And I also want to live in a yurt. And I also want to raid and sack villages. You know, it's not a complicated life I want to live. I want to live the good way. I can imagine living that life now. I was born in the wrong generation. The biblical Shiloh, under siege. Tingri is watching, make sure he is not ashamed. Wow, my peasant mob is not that good, I'm... I apologize for letting you out the fort, you're gonna die. But you will die for Tingri. That guy got put down. There's so many of us, they can't kill us all. They're gonna kill so many of us, our bodies are gonna start to pile up. And then they're gonna look at our body count and they're gonna feel really bad. And they'll leave. They got a horse? I'm a, I'm a con and I don't even have a horse, man. This shit fucking sucks. Shiloh's being overrun. Ah! They're coming. Goodbye, Shiloh. Oh. Strategic pun victory. They killed so many of us, they got bored. 
I got horses now. I ain't horsing around. Now they dare attack our holy city? Middlesex Coco? Try as you might, you will never break the walls of Middlesex Coco! Horse archers really are OP. All it takes is one horse guy, and their entire army is like, basically dead. This is an OP technology. We will have to harness this. Go forth, my brave warriors. Kill them all. There will be no history of your people. Because you will not be there to write it. And I can't read. New monument, gang. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Here we go. Fuck your war chariots, man. Get them out of here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's convert the Judaism. As a bit. Well, I mean, we have all these pyramids. I think we do have to sacrifice someone. Like, I'm sorry, but... There's no other, like, reason to build all those pyramids other than human sacrifice. We got them laying around. We gotta use them. We gotta put Agamemnon on the pyramid. He declared war on me. He's gotta go. Goodbye, brother. Your people will live as thralls under my horse. I don't think I can completely destroy you because of an arbitrary rule. Like, God came down, he spoke to me, and he said, Hey, only do a little bit of enslavement, not a whole lot. So I gotta go halfway. I hope you enjoyed the border gore as much as I do. Now we build our great temple. On the grave of our enemies that we slaughtered. They don't call me Attila Total War for nothing. Why are you so It was a pleasure unhappy. doing business with you, inevitable. stranger. My people will not be slaughtered. We surrender. <laughs> These voice actors, man. I feel so bad for them. Please, do not kill all my people. Sacking settlements is so fun. I love doing it. I want to be a warlord when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be a warlord. And I want to put people to the sword. We gotta earn the name Middlesex Coco. We gotta become Aztec as fuck. Please. Genghis Khan? Yeah, I hardly knew her. As the Aztecs, I think we need more pyramids and more fun. Now, honey, where are we gonna put this sacrificial altar? I don't know. Well, we gotta make room for it. One day, this whole continent will be mine. And I will put many pyramids everywhere. Thousands will be sacrificed and millions will cheer. Sorry, neighbor, I was getting kind of bored with this giant, like, horsey warband. And I had to... I had to make use of it. I wonder what people think when they walk by my room. And they hear me doing the things I do. They think I'm like summoning a demon or something. Gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. And let me take you right Give it up. You're dead. There's nothing wrong about it. Defeat. It can sometimes be honorable. If you don't make me mad. Then I'll be like, you know what? You a good guy. I should have just burnt your entire country to the ground. If you're going to be this greedy in our peace deal. Holla, holla. We're my boys. I'm bored. I'm going to cyber bully you. Forgive me in the future. War never changes. Okay, I'm not losing one horse for this. We're going in manual style. We'll get in the city one day. We're just chilling. I actually do kind of like my horse army. I feed them a lot of grain. But that grain is running out. So we need to acquire more. And the only way to get more is, well, to do this, really. Say goodbye to your city, buddy. Nay. He's dead. Let's go to the new era. Do I be Mohawk as fuck? Or do I become... Chinese? I'm thinking about it. Holy mother of drip. And so we learned how to wear drip. And we were dripping out. And that is how we gained our stability. But oh, we were not content. We had to share our drip with the world. The divine mandate requires human sacrifice. I don't want to be that guy, but that's the rules, all right? What a lovely place we're building here. Yeah, let me destroy this monument I built. Good idea. 
Witches are evil. You gotta go into the sea before you curse me or something. You're gonna love being my vassal. Oh, wait. I gotta get with the LARP. You're gonna love being my tributary, man. We're gonna have so much fun. Imagine you're like my dog. And I'm gonna throw you a bone. And I'm gonna give you a scratch in the belly. Please show mercy to my people. The world is in flat. It's as round as can be. And he's gonna prove it. You'll prove it, you'll see. I'm wondering how much I will LARP now. With five research quarters dedicated to I'm a scientist too, and a LARPer. One of the giants. We must colonize the new world. It is our destiny. This is honestly one of the coolest features in the game, turning off the HUD and looking at all the LARP. This is what it's all about. All it took to get to the new world was to become Italian. Italian domination. Don't worry, you're gonna love being Italian. We're in the final age now. That means we gotta get us some science, we gotta get nukes, and then we gotta nuke people. And then we fly to Mars or something. I don't think it matters that much, like... I'm in the future and they're in the 1800s. I will say, this game is actually kind of fun. But, uh, it kind of misses that, like, oomph, that oomph factor. I don't know how to explain it, but, like... Civ 5, that game, like, gets you addicted. Like, this game is a competently made game. But, like, I don't know. It feels kind of floaty. I don't know how to describe that, but, like, I feel like I'm just going through it. Maybe it's, like, the UI or something. It's got to be something like that. Like, in Civ 5, like, I really, like, I knew what I was doing. In this game, I kinda, I'm, like, going through the motions. I'm winging it. I don't really feel attached to the world. But the gameplay is kind of fun. We sent a cat to Mars and the game is over. We won. I think this game is pretty alright. Like, the cities are awesome, man. I like how they look. The warfare is also kind of cool. But I don't. I haven't really played late game warfare because uh, I never really need to. But maybe it's cool. But there's one thing I forgot to do. But first, here's the score. And then we do the do. Only my vassal is in nuking range. I'm sorry. Well... Somebody you served your purpose. You're now target practice. Thank you all for being my friend by force, but this is how all friendships end. Goodbye. How ironic that Japan was the first country to fire a nuke in this game. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened here? I'm just a guy on a camel. That was weird. Something, something, humankind. Oppenheimer.